Hey everyone, this is Monkey1000 and today we're going to do a review. I already did two um, keto muffin cakes, mug cakes I call them. We're going to, today we're going to do the lemon and I also got the blueberry here. So we're going to try these and see how well they work since we like the other ones. I thought I'd try these ones and see what they do. So we'll be right back. Okay guys, so today I got my mother helping me like I did with the other ones. There she is. Hopefully you can see her. Okay, so we're going to bring you down a little bit so you can see what's going on. And uh, yeah, so the blueberry one has the ingredients on the back. So if you want to freeze it, you can. And look at what you got here. So um, they're basically the same like they I did the other two which I'll put at the end of this video if people haven't seen them so you're gonna melt one tablespoon of butter into a microwave safe mug pour it into sweet logic mix which is this and crack one egg into your mug and stir well and then you're going to do your microwave for one minute now you can't put this in the oven but it, at three, 350 degrees for 25 minutes if you rather put it in the oven. But I'm going to microwave these because these are supposed to be quick and easy things that we can eat. And you know, we could probably make this out of muff, muffin pan, put them in the muffin pan. Yeah, that is says it's a muffin. Yeah, yeah, this yeah. is a muffin. And this one is more of a cake, but we could probably buy a couple of these yeah and we can put them in your in the tins and just make regular muffins in the oven yeah 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 if you wanted to have more than one this one here the blueberry one says it's three grams of sugar per bag and uh so we're going to do that one for her i'm going to do the lime cake here and the, the lemon uh, it's a luxurious lemon poppy seed that's what it is and let's see on this one you're going to melt two tablespoons of butter into a mic mug can't talk pour in sweet logic mix crack an egg and stir well in 25 minutes or at 350 in the oven or you can do it a minute for the microwave now how much sugar is in this one I'm trying to see how much sugar is in this one Total sugar says two grams. That's less than mine. Yeah, but the carbs is 23 carbs. How many carbs is on there? On yours, now your sugar is three grams and your um, carbs is 24 grams. So mine's less than yours. That's because I have blueberries. Yeah, because she has the blueberries in that one. So I'm going to go get the butter and we'll come right back. Okay guys, so I got the butter, of course I have, I have the hard butter here because it never stays soft in this house, everybody uses it too much. So we're going to cut it because you just need one tablespoon. So I'm just going to cut it, I'm going to put it in each mug and I'm going to melt it in the microwave and then I'll come back for the rest of it. So we we'll just put it in our mugs. Here, we'll do it this way, and then I'll put this one out for uh, the rest of us. We go through a lot of butter. Yeah, we do. Okay, guys, so there's our butter all melted. I did it on 30 seconds for um, on the microwave for the butter to melt it. And now she, we can do this. She can take hers, and she can put it in hers. Let me see. Yeah, you have to put the mix in first, and then you mix the egg in there. So you just shake it down. Huh? There you go. So, and then you, it has a nice, easy little thing here that you can take and peel it off, which is kind of nice. Make it easy. And we're going to pour them in our mugs. Okay. Make sure you get it all in there. It's all in. Alright, now you're going to crack your egg first. Oh. You're going to crack your egg. 
Make sure you don't get any shells in there. You can hardly see. And then you can put this inside your bag and we'll throw that away. Now you can stir it up. We're going to stir it. And I'll show you so you can see. And it's just going to stir hers up. Make sure to stir it well, it says. And then you want to make sure it's all like a batter, like a cake batter. Get that egg mixed in there really good. There we go. Does mine look mixed? I can't see it from here. Let me check hers. Here's hers. This is what hers looks look like. And hers is thicker than mine. Yeah, it looks like it's pretty good. So we're going to take this out. And you can lay it on your paper there so you don't get it on the tablecloth. And we'll do hers first. For one minute we're going to put it in the microwave. And when we get them both done in the microwave for a minute, then we'll come back and show you the end result. Okay guys, so here we are back. Just a little bit. So anyways, this is what hers looks like after the microwave and this is one now these this one I have has poppy seed in it which is healthy for you it's supposed to help you mm -hmm. with many things so okay so you dig into yours and I'll dig into mine and then we'll switch and see how well we like each other's it'll be hot mmm oh mmm good Mm -hmm. Oh, very lemony. Mm, I like that. that. I like it then, too. Mm -hmm. Very lemony. Yeah, you can taste the poppy seed. Mm. Yeah. Very good. Oh, I like that. Mm. Oh, that is very good. I am very impressed with these ones compared That's to those other ones that we had. Yeah. They were horrible. Uh, compared to these. This is good. This is more like a cake. Like you, you could you could actually eat this anytime. I mean I could probably give it to someone who's not even on the keto diet and they oh. would like them. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Okay. Now you dip into mine and I will dip into yours and I'll see. Now I don't really like blueberries that much. I'm one of these blueberry people that no. I don't eat that blueberries. But my mother loves the blueberries. She's the blueberry woman in this house. So, I will eat this just to test it, but it probably won't be it's my good. favorite. It's good. Mm, it is good. Yeah, it's blueberry. You can taste a lot of blueberries in it. Yeah, very nice. And I don't like blueberries at all. So, would I eat this? Probably not because I don't like blueberries, but this is very nice. Now, my mother probably eat this more often, too. Mm-hmm. Very good. Oh, this is really good. Mm-hmm. I think this is the best of all of them. Do you? Mm-hmm. You like the lemon one better than the blueberry one? I love lemon. I love lemon cake. Yeah. Because it's nice and light and summery. Right. Yeah. I like the blueberry. Uh-huh. I can't remember the other ones we ate. It was a chocolate, and I didn't care for the chocolate that much. The other one, I think it was like a pumpkin spice. spice. It was spicy, mm -hmm. and it yeah. was good. Yeah, it was very good. It was nice, and it would be nice with coffee. I think I mentioned that. Yeah. Yeah, this would be nice with coffee, but this would also be nice in the summertime when it's hot. And yeah. You just want something to snack on or, or it's whatever. It's light. Yeah, it's very light. Yeah. Yeah, you could use this as a dessert or a snack in between a meal or something. You know, this is And very I know nice. it doesn't look like it makes very much, but it fills you up. Yeah, it does. And, I mean, the last one I made, I couldn't even finish it. Yeah. So, I mean, there. you better be hungry for a snack if you want to eat this stuff. But it doesn't put your sugar up at all. Right. So you like that? 
But you like the lemon one better? I love I love lemon cake. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I like lemon meringue, so <laughs> Well I do too. I never eat it anymore. Too much sugar in it. I don't make it anymore. <laughs> I used to make it for you. Mm-hmm. Mm. But this is very good. Mm-hmm. I'd buy these again, wouldn't you? Yeah. Definitely it's a it's a it's a nice nice dessert for I always like to have something sweet after I eat. I don't know why. It's something I've always done. Yeah, well, that's why you're diabetic. <laughs> my father got you onto that because my dad always had a dessert after his meal. That was the way he was brought up. Yeah, well, I was brought up that way, too. Yeah. Mom had dessert every night. Yeah. You know, but it might have just been a dish of peaches or something. But it was a dessert, you know, it was something sweet. Yeah. My yeah I don't do the dessert. I, I try to stay away from it altogether now. I, I have for a very long time. I have. Yeah. I, I've, I've been trying to get away from that because it's just the more calories that you're eating. Well, I really don't eat in between meals anymore. No, you're doing very well on your sugar right now. So, you're trying. And I, my doctor's gotten very strict with me, so I have to be a good girl. I have to really be good. <laughs> so I've had to really change my stuff because they've changed my insulin around, so my sugar will come down even lower. This doctor wants it under 130, and then you don't have to take insulin. My other doctor wanted it at 150 and below, and then you wouldn't have to. So I had that little play in there. You know, so a lot of the times I wasn't taking insulin because it was 150. Now I'm taking more insulin because she wants me to take it all the time. So unless it's under 130. And it's really hard to get it under 130. I mean, everything has sugar in it. Meat has sugar in it. Milk has sugar in it. Everything you eat has sugar in it. Even if you don't know you think, oh, that doesn't have sugar. Yeah, it does. They it has. They use it as a preservative now. Right. And which, that's why diabetes is on the high, because there's too much sugar, too much salt, and it's causing heart diseases and also a lot of diabetes. So they need to change their ways on their food, because really it's very hard to find food with no sugar in it or salt. So, anyways... That was it for now. Um, we, uh, yeah, thumbs up, huh? Yep, yep, thumbs up. Yeah, it was very good. So we're going to finish our so-called kind of lunch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't tell the doctor. So anyways, we'll, we'll have some more videos coming up. I've ordered a couple of things, so we'll be doing a review on those when they show up, and I'll talk more about that in that video. So, uh, so I have a craft thing I'm going to do, and uh, yeah, and don't forget Saturday, Shaber is going to do a live all nighter. So he's he's not going to just just talk. He's going to do some other stuff. So it's you know entertaining. So I will stay with him as long as I can. But <laughs> I'm when I'm tired, I'm done, and that's it. And I go to bed, and I'm out. <laughs> so I've always been that way ever since I was a kid. It wouldn't matter where we were. You put me on a sofa in a corner somewhere and I'm tired, I'm gone. So I don't know if I can stay up all night or not, but I'll try to stay with him as much as I can. So go check that out on Saturday night. He's going to start it at 9 o'clock and we will go until morning. I'm not sure what time he was going to end it. I think it was 6, but I'm not sure about that. So make sure you go see Shaber 1000's channel to, to watch that. And if you can only pop in for a little bit, come in and pop in and watch and, you know, watch the video a little bit here and there if you want to. Or you can wait until it's finished or whatever you like. So... It'll be fun. We're, we're expecting to have some people there that we that um, asked us to do a live. And then I was like, well, why don't you do a live all nighter? So that's what he's going to do. Anyways, so that's it for now, guys. I hope you have a great day. And Monkey says she's out. Say bye, Mom. Bye, Mom.